Hello friends, today I'm going to uh, show you how to perform page level restore in Microsoft SQL Server. Before going to that, I would like to explain few things like how uh, I'm going to show you how to restore a page and uh, like uh, where the if corrupted where the corrupted pages are going to store our page restoration is online or offline operation. Okay, first of all, uh, uh, have I restored a page? As we said, yes, and I'm going to show you right now and where these records are going to present on the page. It is going to present on MSDB in the table called suspect pages table. I am going to uh, comment that table as well. Is page going restore operation is online or offline means it's an online operation in enterprise editions. Okay, remaining all are offline operations. Uh, here I am doing all this like developer. In developer is also like enterprise. So it's a in developer. Uh, it's like online operation remaining standard express re remaining or standard web version all are like offline only okay and I will show you how we have to do it now open here and I'm I would like to drop uh, this into offline no not offline I will try to delete that so that uh, yeah now uh, as of as of now, I'm going to create a new database name called text. It is done. I'm going to use just that, and I'm going to create one table name called text table with the two columns called ID init word, and this is primary key, and name is workcard. Okay. Now I'm inserting one record that is like with the name called Arsha and Kalki. Uh, sorry, Arsha Kalki. It's a uh, one thing. Okay, ID uh, identity will automatically insert one record one. I'm just click execute. Now to insert how to see how the uh, the storage tables are got internally got arranged. So for that we use undocumented this command dbcc in and we have to pass database name and we have to pass table name and here minus one include all details includes like I am pages and all databases here minus two means all database as of now I'm going to show you the difference here see in that minus two it will only filter at 10 I am page in here I all it's already all filled by the all pages right so now I'm going to see only minus one output now I got these three output right so what I need to do here first of all to be on safe side I would like to take the backup done now I am going to use this JSON. What it is going to do that means sometime by default DB uh, DBCC console commands are suppressed the output. But if we use this input, it will the output the total output will uh, forward it to this query window. For that reason, we are how to on this command. This is done. Now what I need to do here is I uh, just want to do this command. Now I want this is the data page in this database. This is the page ID. This is the MDF file. So I'm going to copy this 352 here. Okay, and I just turn on right that's it. 3052. I will just write it down there so that it will be easy for that. Now I want to I want to use the command right here. So I uh, just turn it on okay now dbcc page one of the undocumented command to view the how the data got stored in inside the page so this is the database name this is the mdf uh, this is the file id this is the page what is the page id yes i'm pasting here and this is the three three is the detailed output here we have three print levels zero means only header level information page letter plus row for information with limited delete lim limited details and page header plus row information these are page header row information and place data which are detailed information will be there but that's the reason i'm using here three print level now if i see here see i used to get this data okay see this is my name this is how it got stored right this is the hash key value and now what I need to do here, I need to replace my uh, page name here. Just copy this and here, 
here my page is by default 8kb right if we convert into bytes it will come like this here we need to uh, minus this thing uh, we need to multiplication these two things yeah i got this number now i am pasting here that's it now if i see here i am able to view the data right so to corrupt the page we have two techniques one is we can use dvcc write page one other things we can use xvi application so in the xvi application so this is you can get it from internet um, you can directly uh, run as administrator click yes so before going to do this what i need you need to do okay now first you need to turn off the database into offline done it Now, before going to VC, you need to switch the mask to the master so that the connection will get removed. Yeah, it's got offline. Okay, now what I need to do here is by default, where this data get, go to properties, uh, go to database settings and just copy the data, and, uh, copy the data path. Now open this application, go to file open and paste it, click open. Now go to test.mdf, where is this test here, just open that. Now go to SMS, here copy this number. Now go to here and go to G and control, press select here any button and press control G and paste the number here. So it will take to you this page. Okay, here uh, we have something around H. Here is my name, right? So what I will do, I will replace with the K and I will replace with H. H. Uh, just now I just replace with the K something here. Okay, I have changed this all like uh, K name, right? Here, uh, I changed H to a k and remaining are k to h these two things i have just changed uh, place here control uh, save button i have saved it and close this application now i don't require this anymore now uh, bring it online yes we got it right right so we got the database but nobody knows whether we have pages corrupted or not how can we check that go to msdv here uh, go to tables go to system tables here search for a suspected variables here this thing now press control here now nobody why it is not showing means by default it will not show so for that what i need to we need to access that those pages the no need will trigger does that it Why? Why it won't match? See why I didn't went right? So no problem. So what I will do it again and I'm... Oh, sorry. I was doing this in text table. So I want to do that in text directing, right? So now if I do that, click execute. Now I got this error right now you go back to this thing and click execute see I got this page now you can clearly see that to uh, like database ID uh, it may you can get it from there now uh, now here only I can write the command right db underscore name database underscore id name see we got the database name which is test id 
this is the MDF file, this is the page number, this is the event ID number, this is what it got applied. Okay, so even though the pages got corrupted, when you try to access, then only it will get recorded to the MSTB tables. First of all, you, you, we got this logic. Now we came to know that we have configured alert and we came to know this is the alerts. Okay, by default, by default, we came to know this is like page got corrupted, right? If it is non cluster index, then we can easily, uh, I mean to say like, uh, it is we can easily, uh, uh, we can drop the non cluster index and we can rebuild it so that it will get corrected. So if it is non cluster index, there is no way we have to use uh, pay DBCC, um, uh, DBCC repo with data loss. If that's okay, that uh, the if that went fine. If not, so it's always better. If so many pages are got corrupted, then we can do that. So if one or two their pages, we cannot rely on the DBCC with repair data loss. The the, the same thing, right? But because my database is huge, okay. So for that, what we need to do, we can restore the page. Okay. Now go to this here. Now come um, go to test database. Come here. Now restore page. Here we can hit right. Now come here. Now see it's already highlighting that. Now what I need to do uh, by default it is selected this thing. But taking take log uh, it is taking a log backup as well. Okay. And now click add. No, this is not the right thing. If the backup is already verified, it will take that. Okay, otherwise I'm just selecting okay. So it's automatically uh, run and I will, I, it will let you know and the pages will not get deleted automatically. So it's got this, just we need to click this button now this is the whole thing see it did got, immediately it got really right now if i go and see this test previously i got this error now click execute see i got the corrected data previously i was changed to something else now previously i'm able to view the data but if you see here i'm like i uh, like i'm able to view the original data because of this log backups are all exist okay so this is how you need to verify uh, sorry 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 this is how you need to restore the corrupted page in microsoft sql server okay i hope uh, i think i have answered all these three questions so in remaining all editions uh, we have to perform this in online offline so and i'm going to show you how to corrupt a page Okay, and how we can restore the page using T-SQL. Now, in the second part, I'm going to show only through T-SQL. I hope you may like my initiative. Thank you. Bye.